and welcome back to Wisconsin Women, where we always have a fabulous time uh, being around gorgeous lingerie, uh, thanks to our dear friend Tia Lynn. She's an award-winning uh, designer, and we're going to talk about very flirtatious and staycations and vacation getaways. Now, we're always very ecstatic to have the man in the house, along <laughs> with so many fabulous uh, others that work in this industry when it comes to audio for the arts. Say hello to Buzz Kemper. He is the owner and mayor. Maggie Giffelin, who is the office manager and engineer, Lady Boss. Yes. How are you guys good. doing? Good. Great. Great. It's good to be oh, here. I, I mean, I got Maggie, I got Lee, I got Krista, and I got lingerie. I know. You know yeah, just kill me now. It's a good know? world. It's a dream come true. I know. It totally is. Yeah. How can we be Buzz Kemper for a day? So, Buzz, you do work with Madison Symphony, and this Sunday they're doing something called Beyond the Score. Tell us yeah. about it. Yeah, I mean, normally they do concerts, and you go there, and they play these pieces of music and you hear them and you enjoy them and there you go. In this case, they have actors from American Players Theater come oh, in okay. and play various characters for the first half. So this is a uh, this show is about Mahler's Fourth Symphony. So they're going to have somebody playing Mahler and probably somebody playing Mahler's friends and maybe some of his colleagues and they're going to act out what Mahler went through in getting inspiration to play this piece and then the orchestra will play excerpts so they'll say you know the Mahler character might say oh I remember you know hearing this folk song and I decided to use that theme and then the orchestra will play it and then for the second half the actors all go away and the orchestra just plays the piece so I always leave there so I run sound for it and it's great I love the APT actors I love the symphony people but I always leave there a little smarter which is never a bad thing yeah <laughs> yeah that's awesome good you guys are like so busy and I know besides music you guys are also do like audio books and ad productions and things like that, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what what kind of audio books are you guys working on right now? Well right now I'm working on recording an audio book called uh, The Ghost of Black Hawk Island. Ooh. Oh which is a reprint of an August Derleth novel, okay. who is a Wisconsin native, and it's kind of a fun, like, Scooby-Doo type oh, mystery sweet. book for teens and young adults. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> 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 oh, that's awesome. Oh, How my fun. Gosh, yeah. Yeah, you guys always have such a variety of fun things going on. We do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. The best we of do. the best. So, Buzz, while we're talking about uh, the Spoken Word Project, you have a few of these going on as well, right? Right. I'm also doing some audiobooks. Now yeah. for a while I was doing two audiobook trilogies simultaneously, so six books, and I really felt like I was kind of drowning. You know, I was narrating them, not just engineering them, but you know, doing the narration myself. Now one of those is done and out the door, and the other one is a science fiction thing that I'm still working on, and then I get all these really fun and kind of goofy um, voiceover gigs like I, I do some stuff for the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra so if you go to a Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra concert you will hear me welcoming you and mm -hmm. asking you to please turn off your cell phone so <laughs> so yeah so if you don't want to sit through the announcement please turn off your cell phone oh I love it yeah there you go you have such a soothing voice <laughs> I know uh, I'm sure you say it in such a nice way that I it's do. like everybody's like oh that's Buzz telling you okay I'll I listen do. to him yeah. yes I do I don't growl or snarl or anything be nice yes. Was. Yes, exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I know like about once a week or so, you're surrounded by some lawyers, not because you're mm. in any trouble though, right? That we know. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> what do you yeah. have going on with them? There's a podcast called We Dissent, with oh. a bunch of lawyers that talk about First Amendment rights, and a oh. lot of it kind of goes over my head, but it's pretty informative. Oh, cool. They talk about things like uh, the Establishment Clause and uh, Free Exercise, which to me just means walking down the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. That works, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah. all how you interpret it. Yeah. <laughs> the law and everything. Yeah. Right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, that sounds like a cool project. Yeah, it's really yeah. awesome. Oh, it's great cool that you guys have your hands in everything because podcast is the hottest yeah. thing right now. And yeah. then, you know, and everyone knows your voice and your expertise and your mm -hmm. perfectionist. So you really are the, the 
the jam of all this. So oh, it's really thank awesome. You. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us about what is Blue Stem Jazz and what your relationship is with it. The, these guys, the, it's two guys named Thomas Farella and David Stone, and okay. uh, and Maggie and I both work on these, um, and they uh, present concerts all over the city, and they are really focused on. You know, the sort of avant-garde, sort of, you know, progressive jazz, contemporary jazz, there are a number of terms for it. My mother used to call it music that sounds like someone's torturing a small animal uh, because she hated it. But, but you know, I enjoy it and we have become one of their venues. So we do, uh, we do uh, presenting of some of these concerts, which means we also get to record them and um, we get to meet and work with all kinds of, you know, really great musicians and we get people in the door to hear these concerts who wouldn't normally go to a recording studio because they're not recording people themselves. So I feel like it kind of puts us on the map a yeah. little bit. So we're really, we're really grateful to the Blue Stem guys for, um, for doing that. And we're a nice venue in the sense that you can only get about 15 or 18 people in there with the band. But everybody who comes, comes to listen. We're not a bar, you know, we're not, you know, making lattes or, you know, other stuff at the counter. There's no conversation. Once the first note hits, it's just yeah. people listening and the musicians love it because they, we, they've even said at the end of concerts, wow, we've never had anybody just sit here for an hour and a half and listen to us before without like chatting and getting a drink. And he said, it's great. So yes. yeah, it's fun. Oh my gosh. And it's, it's great pleasant. having you guys here. We mm -hmm. love having you guys here. So mm -hmm. we'll see you guys hopefully again soon, right? Yeah, I hope okay. so. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, guys. And thank you. you for watching. We'll be right back after the break.